Hi, welcome back to another podcast with Mr. Hagen. On this podcast, we're going to keep talking about the gross domestic product. And just as a quick review, the definition uh, here is the gross domestic product is the market value of all final goods and services produced within a country in a given time period. And we said the key, uh, sorry, the key, some of the key uh, terms here are market value, the market value of all goods and services produced within a year. So when we say market value, sorry if this is if that color is a little hard to read, the market value is uh, of all goods and services are determined by the supply and demand, which generates an equilibrium price. Uh, for for the product. So uh, we did this on a previous podcast, but just to review it, we would take the market value or price of apples times all the apples that got produced. And then we would add to that the market value or price of bananas times all the bananas that got produced. And we would do that for every single good, price times quantity, and, and add them all up, and, and that would give you the market value of all the final goods and services, so it can't be intermediate goods, it has to be final goods. We discussed that on a previous podcast as well. So the market value of all the final goods and services that are produced within a country, so it's got to be inside the country's borders, so it's got to be within the country's borders. Uh, Sorry, so this should say uh, within, within a country's borders and in one year. That's the typical time period that we use to measure uh, the gross domestic product, okay, within one year. So all the market value of all the final goods and services produced within a country in, uh, in a one-year time period. That's our definition of gross domestic product. Now, we want to talk about what are some things that are Uh, not included, that are excluded from the gross domestic product that you might have thought were included or or maybe just not thought of at all. So some things that don't get counted would be non-market goods and services. And these are things they really should get included because, you know, this was a service that was indeed provided. Uh, somebody did, you know, moms watched, stayed home and watched the children instead of going to work, or or dad cooked dinner. Um, and so uh, these are uh, forms of production that have occurred, but they don't get counted because remember, the gross domestic product is calculated using the market value of all goods and services. Well, these are non market. Uh, behaviors in the sense that we don't pay for them. There's not a price. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't pay my wife to stay home uh, with the children. She does not pay me to to cook dinner or take out the trash. So those things should get counted as gross domestic product, uh, but uh, but unfortunately they don't because you know it's really hard to. It's really hard to keep track of them. Uh, another one is underground or illegal activity. Uh, so <clears throat> any underground or illegal activity, uh, you know, uh, uh, drugs and, and, and things like this, uh, they, don't, they don't get counted as gross domestic product. And, and while we might not like those behaviors, uh, they, they are production and services uh, that take place. So uh, some, some economists estimate that, that these kind of black market production activities might make up, you know, maybe 10% of the gross domestic product or something like that, uh, but they, they fail to get counted. Uh, sorry, number three or another one is used goods and services. Now, used goods and services, they don't get counted and they shouldn't get counted. Okay, they shouldn't get counted because nothing was produced. So this is if I if I go buy uh, at a yard sale, if I go buy a lawnmower, a used lawnmower, that doesn't get counted as gross domestic product, and it shouldn't get counted as gross domestic product because the lawnmower wasn't produced this year. It was produced, you know, maybe five years ago. It's a it's a used lawnmower, so that lawnmower should get counted the year that it was produced five years ago. It got counted as gross domestic product. It does not get counted as gross domestic product. Uh, when I buy it at a yard sale. And for the same reason, financial transactions uh, do not get counted. Why? Because there was no production going on behind them. In fact, both of these financial transactions and used goods are really just ways of transferring property between two people. 
They're really just ways of transferring property. So somebody gave me a lawnmower and I gave them money from my bank. Somebody gave me a share of, of uh, Microsoft and I gave them money from my bank. There's no production going on here. We are just trading property. So remember, the, the goal of gross domestic product is to calculate production. So because there's no production going on here, there's, there's nothing to count. doesn't get get part get counted as part of gross domestic product so these two the first two they don't get counted as gdp but should we just don't have a way of of capturing them and measuring them effectively these two don't get counted and should not get counted okay they should not get counted uh transfer payments they do not get counted and they shouldn't get counted. Uh, this is when the uh, transfer payment is when the government uh, taxes one group of people and then gives the money to another group of people. Social Security would be a great example of a transfer payment. Uh, they, they take money from, from me and they you know give it to Grandpa. That's a transfer payment. There's no production that happened, so it doesn't get counted. And it shouldn't get counted. And then finally, uh, foreign produced goods and services. Uh, these also should not get counted as American gross domestic product. If I buy a computer that was made in Japan, uh, that computer should not get counted as part of United States gross domestic product because it did not get produced in the United States. So these also, they don't get counted and they should not get counted. So and this is not an exhaustive list. There's lots of other things we could talk about here, but I'm just trying to give you a, a sense of some of the things uh, that, that don't get counted and should and some of the things that don't get counted and, and, and they really, they, they shouldn't uh, get counted. Other things to think about, gross domestic product uh, generally does not subtract away the bads that are generated when producing a good, so, so pollution uh, often does not get subtracted away, doesn't get taken into account, and uh, a lot of people think that it should get counted in some way. There are some groups that uh, calculate what they call the green GDP, and the green GDP takes into account some of this stuff like pollution and, and so forth, and we're not going to get uh, into that in this class, but I just wanted you to be aware of it. And then... Um, Two more uh, things to say here about gross domestic product. It, one of them is we use gross domestic product to calculate what we call per capita GDP, which another way of thinking about per capita GDP is it is just the average income in your country. Per capita GDP is the average income in your country. So we could take the gross domestic product in some country that might be uh, $15 trillion. Maybe some company, uh, uh, country produces $15 trillion worth of final goods and services in a year. And, and maybe the population in that country uh, is $300 million. So then you would have to take the $15 trillion divided by $300 million. You'd have a lot of zeros that you have to keep track of there. And, and if you do that, that would give you a per capita gross domestic product in this country. Uh, in this example, of $50,000. So we would call that the per capita GDP, or we might call that the average income. The average income uh, for, for that country would be uh, $50,000. And then one last thing to say about this uh, gross domestic product in this video is, should we calculate gross domestic product or should we be calculating something like happiness? Maybe we should really just be calculating the happiness in the country. Maybe that's what really matters. Uh, I mean, after all, uh, you know, when, you, when, when the United States enters World War II, we produce, we start producing a lot of tanks and, uh, and soldiers' uh, uniforms and, and bombs and bullets and weapons and all of these things. But do, do those things really make us happy? Um, I'm not so sure that they do. Like instead of tanks, we could have been making cars. Instead of instead of bullets, we could have been making uh, televisions and, and other things that that we really want. So so it it, it makes the gross domestic product that the the measurement of gross domestic product does indeed go up when you produce produce tanks and and uniforms and bullets and and all those kinds of things. But I'm not sure that that really means that that we're happier. Uh, it just means 
this thing that we measure, called gross domestic product, is is bigger. Uh, so so some some economists are starting to argue that we we should really do is just do happiness surveys and just measure happiness uh, within a country. One place that this really plays out is in leisure time. So when people work a lot, that tends to increase the gross domestic product. But those people might be very unhappy, working 60, 70 hours a week. Uh, they're tired all the time. You know, they don't have time just to kind of relax with their family, uh, always hustling around and so forth. And and then some other countries, you know, maybe maybe they they work less. They only work 30 hours a week, and they they live in a they live in a smaller house, and they have smaller cars and and things like that. But they have more time with their family, and they enjoy that time. They enjoy that 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 uh, that time off. And so. Uh, maybe their happiness is higher, even though their measured gross domestic product is lower. Uh, so, so we get into debates. What matters, gross domestic product production or happiness? And, and at least there's some economists that are saying happiness is what, is what really matters. But of course, happiness is, can be very difficult to measure. All right, this has been Mr. Hagen on another podcast. Uh, thanks for joining me, and we'll see you on the next podcast.